Hi, I'm Jonathan. Today I want to talk about overthinking. How to learn to stop overthinking. What causes overthinking? You know when you think way too long and way too much about something? The art of creating problems that are not there. That kind of overthinking. Even unanxious people actually overthink. So imagine if you have anxiousness in your blood. Things can get pretty wild up there. Oh yeah, and don't mind the hat. It's winter time in Canada and it gets pretty cold, so it's like a little sleeping bag for the head. But what is overthinking? Well, overthinking is not being in the moment, is ruminating about the past or stressing about the future. But overthinking stops you from doing things. It's like art, business plan, whatever it is that you want to do. If you overthink it, it will never happen. Oh, what if this happened? Or what if that happened? And if that happens, well, this is gonna happen. And you see where I'm going with this? Oh, and trust me, I'm a serious overthinker. However, I was lucky enough to always be able to go through with my ideas and not overthink too much. Yeah. Looks like I have hair. You know, I, I'm, I'm not bald anymore when I have that, but yeah, deep down I'm, st I'm still bald. But before I give you tips to stop overthinking, let's define the causes. I think there's three main things. Yourself, your environment, poor time management. Yourself, it's pretty self-explanatory. You are predisposed... predisposed... Probably because you have a predisposition to be an overthinker. Maybe your parents were overthinker and it kind of passed down that stress to you. Your environment, anywhere that you go on a daily basis, let's say you're going to the office and you know that some of your coworkers doesn't really like you or you think they don't really like you and you make up all these stories in your head why they don't like you, what, what have I done, what you, would you do, what you would say, you know. And poor time management. I think that everyone in their lives at some point suffer from poor time management. I know I did. I got really good at it, but before being good at something, well, you need to suck at it. Poor time management is entirely your fault. It is a big causes of why we overthink. But there's ways to fix this. Actually, studies have found that it's more of the negative perceptions of the worry than the worry itself that makes us overthink. So let's talk about the four A's of stress management. Avoid, alter, accept, or adapt. Avoiding doesn't mean to avoid your problems. That's not a really good way to go through life. Meaning that you learn to say no to things that doesn't really make sense to bother with. Let's say some neighbors that always like to talk to you about politics and always looking for a fight. You can choose not to have that discussion and some new movement that some of your friends are being super woke about it and they want you to have a conversation with them to see which side you're on. You're allowed to not to pick a side. Just say no to that conversation because you know it would get eaten up and it would make you start overthink. Alter. Alter, you can always ask people to maybe change their behavior. If a colleague is stressing you out, a family member, a friend, whatever is the situation, you can always have a sit down with that person and ask them, why are they doing this? Why did they say that? Try to examine the situation to see if something could change. You just need to be open to discussion and the other person as well. Accept. Just accept the situation for what it is. There's some things you can't control. Acknowledge that there's an emotion, a feeling created by the situation, deal with it, and then move on. Adapt, well, change your mindset about the situation. Start thinking more positively. Is this a crisis that needs to make me overthink? Or this is a challenge and I need to find an answer to it. Sometimes when you overthink, you have the feeling like you're working on the problem and you're trying to find an answer to it. Overthinking something is not finding a resolution to something. It's more procrastinating about the resolution of that problem. Make the difference between procrastinating and overthinking and resoluting a problem. It's all about realizing that you have control over this. You have the power to change. It's all about what you can control and let go of what you can't control. 
Like I mentioned before, I overthink, but it doesn't stress me anymore because I know what's happening and I just bring myself back really quickly. Okay, this one thing might seem a little bit crazy, but hear me out. Worry postponement. Let's say you start overthinking. Just tell yourself, you know what? I know I'm overthinking right now. However, I have better things to do. I will get back on that overthinking just later. And if that happens to you, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You know when you go to bed, you're super tired, and then those little answers, they start running and they don't stop. And you're like, what the hell? I was tired like five minutes ago. And next thing you know, it's three hours later and you're still overthinking. This worrying postponement works really good for me. I just tell myself, you know what, Jonathan? This is your time to sleep right now. And your thoughts are not you. I speak to my thoughts like, you know what? I'll get back to you tomorrow morning. And it works wonders. I just stop the overthinking right away and I just can fall asleep. The next one it's called autogenic training. It means that you sit yourself down and you repeat verbal cue to yourself to relax, like I am calm. While you're repeating this phrase to yourself, imagine your body becoming more relaxed, heavier. Do less. Put less on your shoulders. That kind of goes with the poor time management. You are the master of your schedule. Okay, you have work, but after work and before work, you're the one managing your schedule. If you overthink, if you're stressed and you have anxiety over everything you have to do, it's because you just plan too much shit. How long can you live like this anyway? At some point, you won't be able to do anything. You're gonna get sick, you're gonna get too stressed, you're gonna go into a burnout. So before you reach that point, just relieve your schedule of things that are unimportant, like stuff that you're doing to please other people. It's okay, people will survive if you don't help them all the time. One thing that works amazing is journaling. I do have to work right now, so we'll get back after my day. It's a pretty busy day, but I'm not stressed because I made my own schedule. I'm sorry that took so long. So I was saying about journaling and it works every time for me. I write what I'm overthinking about in the most details possible. It's like emptying my head. Then I can think and see clearly. I have what I wrote and then I have reality. And I realized then that what I made up in my mind was completely blown out out of proportion. Sometimes you think you just had a big car accident where you just have a flat. We have to come to terms that fear, emotion, thoughts, they're always gonna be riding with us, but we don't have to let them drive. Like Tony Robbins once said, whatever you hold in your mind on a consistent basis is exactly what you will experience in your life. Meaning that if you stress about everything all the time, your life is gonna be everything stress all the time. Another great quote I heard, I can't remember who said that, I didn't make it up. Remember that if you can't see where you're going because you're overwhelmed with overthinking, as long as you can see your next step, that's all that matters. That one's a thinker, I like this one. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it means, but it made sense when I heard it. Well, now you hear it. And I'm not even sure that I said that right. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you don't mind dropping a like and maybe subscribe if you like having these kind of discussions. I drop one or two video a week. It's always about art, lifestyle, self-improvement. So if these things interest you, you know what to do. It's always a good time to become the other. And I'll speak to you very soon. This is the book that inspired that video. So if you wanna give it a read, very quick very simple to understand. I suggest it if you're an overthinker.